the type of music that you play? Well, I'm. Well, I'm. Well, I'm. By nature, I'm a percussionist because when I was like seven years old, my my aunt bought me a Ludwig uh, drum set, and unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. But it all it always like I just love percussion, and in terms of music influences, even though you didn't ask that, but everything from The Doors to Led Zeppelin to Devo to Grace Jones to David Bowie to Bob Marley, just all kinds of different music have inspired me and you know I'm a hip hop producer now so but percussion is definitely a big part of if you listen to like any hip hop record percussion is always a big part of it All right. so it leads me to right on. what I enjoy doing alright let me throw this up here to conclude this uh, little project alright and then now uh, can I get your age real quick sure I'm 40 years young oh we got a little bit more left age real quick sure Forty years young. Right on. All right. right on. All right. Uh, for Media Milwaukee, I'm Brandon Smith. <laughs> All right. All right. So, okay, we've got two tracks here. We got the upper track, which is my voice and the questions and his responses. Since this assignment, I believe, requires that we find three of them that we'd like to use for our report. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to find the gold, I guess, that's inside of this project. This um, Antoine talked a lot about multiple subjects, including hip-hop producing and um, directing and going into the control room and JMC and, you know, in general, and he's all over the place. So I guess the task for me is to try and find a common thread between the quotes that I choose and that the quotes that he's provided and also balance that with the interestingness factor if that's a word and we'll go ahead and we'll just take a look through some of this we just check a look at how long our video is it's about 17 minutes so far we'll go ahead and listen to some of his responses and go ahead and then um, pick those responses and then after we've selected the three responses then we can go ahead and um, further edit for potential um, screw-ups in the um, audio clips and the ums and the other things that we can go ahead and, and grab out of the um, the sample. Antoine Mack. Alright, that's obviously his name which is not really that important. Journalism, mass communication. Alright, I'm gonna just stop that right there. That's another not important bit. I believe. Let's go ahead and make sure. Mass communications, I'm looking to go into broadcast engineering. All right. Now, for the sake of writing our report, eventually I'm going to go ahead and open up a notepad and go ahead and answer some of these questions that we're bound to have to write down. So, if you could bear with me. Journalism, mass communications, I'm looking to go into broadcast engineering. How do you spell your name? Sorry, I missed that. Sure. A-N-T-O-I-N-E, last name Mac, M-A-C-K. Right on. All right, so, let me go ahead one more time and go through that. Mass communications, I'm looking to go into broadcast engineering. How do you spell your name? Sorry, I missed that. Sure. A-N-T-O-I-N-E, last name Mac, M-A-C-K. Right on. So what, what, what's the... Uh... All right, let me go ahead and keep going. Journalism, mass communications, I'm looking to go into broadcast engineering. How do you spell your name? Sorry, I missed that. Sure. A N T O I N E, last name Mac, M A C K. Right on. So, what what what's uh what interests you about the uh, broadcasting aspect of? All right. Just to save you time while you're looking, I will go ahead and do that stuff later. Just because I have to listen to this a couple times just to um, transcribe it correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick the three quotes. A N T O. Well, um, to be quite honest, I love to write. Um, I've always been like a little, a literary, I won't say, um, not a novice anymore, but I've always enjoyed like words and how to make them go together in proper diction and, and then also have an, an affinity for the media. Um, Alright, I can tell this might be a decent quote. So what I will do is, the beginning of his quote was kind of weak, I believe. Let's take a look. Well, um, to be quite honest, I love to write. Uh, Right. So, to be quite honest, and the ums, we can probably take out. So, I'm going to go ahead and 
find the start of his actual quote. So we'll go ahead and select the work area, which is this. And well, um, to be quite honest, I love to write. All right, so we want to find I love to write, which is roughly here. So we'll go ahead and. Be quite honest, I love to. All right, so it's not there. We'll go ahead and find it in here. Honest, I love. Honest, I. All right, let's split it real quick. Just create a third track just to see if we can catch it. Honest, I love to. All right. And pull this back a little bit and pull track three forward. Honest, I love All right, keep going on the edit. Honest, I love All right, want to get the honest out of there. Honest, I love 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 Wow. Honest, I love to write. I think actually it might be already over here. Love to write. I 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 love to write. All right, there we go. There we got it. Now I can see one thing that GarageBand had, which was that zoomed-in audio stream that you could see. And I know this program has it. I'm just not familiar where it is, and I feel kind of mad that I can't find it because I have no idea. Um, Let's take a look here, real quick. Oh, we don't want to move it anywhere left or right. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay. Well. Darn. Let me grab this over and try that. Nope, that doesn't do it either. Oh, well. We can do our best with what we have. We'll be fine. I'm pretty sure what we'll have will be a decent first draft, so. I love to write. Um, I've always Let's go ahead and start taking these ums out as well. I love to write. Um, I've always been like. Okay. Let's take out the ums. So. Um, I've all. All right. Let's go ahead and cut out a little before that. Let's pull this into a fourth track. Mute this. And make sure we got it all. Um. All right. Looks like we do. But I will mute the fourth track now and listen for the combined version. I've always been to write. I've always been like. Okay, the pause there was actually too long. If I could extend it, if I had some background music or not music, but um, uh, background. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, ambient background noise that matches the interviews. We could add that in later, so there isn't a dead sound period. To write. I've always been like a. To write. I've always been like a little, a literary, I won't say, um, not a novice anymore, but I've always enjoyed like words and how to make them go together in proper diction and, and then also have an, an affinity for the media, um, especially like broadcast media. Right. On. I wanted to get involved with uh, doing like ESPN, like an anchor, an anchor uh, person type thing, but I don't know, I eventually like, I want to end up doing... Um, control room stuff like working see he actually during this quote goes basically everywhere he goes from writing to um broadcasting in the in a control room and uh the media so he's all over the place it might be kind of hard to find a specific quote in here i know that about right here he started talking about a new subject which could be a quote in itself I believe I can find it right here and then also have an, an affinity for the media um, especially like broadcast media right on. I wanted to get involved with uh, doing like ESPN like an anchor see that I don't think I'd use but I think the interesting bit was possibly right here I'm not a novice anymore but I've always enjoyed like words and how to make them go together in proper diction and and then also have an, an affinity for the media. Uh, this is so all over the place that I may just skip this for now. Um, especially like broadcast media. Right. I wanted to get involved with uh, doing like ESPN, like an anchor, an anchor uh, person type thing. But I don't know. I eventually like I want to end up doing um, control room stuff, like working in, a, in for, like a broadcast uh, outlet and working in the control room. All right, yeah, I definitely think I should. Um, excuse me. Um, look for a different quote that isn't so broad in its complexity. 
Actually, since I was 16, 17 years old, which is quite a long time ago, I, I was into music and I've owned my own recording studio. I've done promotions, advertising, marketing, you name it, uh, slash performer, producer. So um, and being involved with media always came natural to me. Um, and I've performed like for large crowds before, so being seen and heard by crowds doesn't really bother me. So like I said, it, right now it's just gathering the technical portion of it so that I can... Uh, now this quote, even though it may have dived into a bunch of areas, he succinctly put it all together as a package. So it is very possible that this could be a good quote. Let's go ahead and split this up a little bit and try and come up with what would the final product would be. 16, 17 years old, which is quite a long time ago, I, I was into... Okay. I believe since he starts talking like this... Actually, since I was... Since he used the word actually, it doesn't seem like I could use that as an independent quote. So unless I set up the quote by bringing up the fact that since he was 16 or 17, he's been all over the board. And then what we'll do is we will go ahead and begin his quote possibly right here. Let me go ahead and create a new track. 16, 17 years old, which is quite a long time. Let me fix that. That's actually right here. I, I was into music, and I've owned my own recording studio. All right, possibly right here. Let me make sure I get this right. Own my own recording studio. All right, it's almost right. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll cut out track two a little bit, add in a little bit of track three, which is simply track two extended. Own my own record. Let's keep going a little bit. Own my own recording studio. I've done promotions, advertising, marketing, you name it. Uh, slash performer, producer. So, um, and being involved with media always came natural to me. Um, and I performed like for large crowds before, so being seen and heard by crowds doesn't really bother me. So, like I said, it, right now it's just gathering the tech. All right. When he says, like I said, yada yada yada, I think that might be more background information that isn't very exciting to hear necessarily from him. So what I will do is try and end it when he finishes talking about. Oh, like I said, it, right now it's just get right here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get the end of this quote. Doesn't really bother me. Doesn't really bother me. I think it's the end of the quote. So we will go ahead and cut it here put the unusable portion back in track two and we'll try and keep our usable um, audio perhaps on track five our finalized um, quote selection so I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this one more time make sure that what I have is what I want we can take out the ums at the end on my own recording studio I've done promotions advertising marketing you name it uh, slash performer producer so um, and being involved with media always came natural to me. Um, and I performed like for large crowds before, so being seen and heard by crowds doesn't really bother me. So. Okay. What I'd like to do is see how long this quote is, because I believe the assignment speaks of only 10 second quotes. This one extends out to 20. So we could easily, we could cut it in half, we could make this two quotes even. Well, let's go ahead and see if that's possible. He starts off talking. Own my own recording studio, I've done promotions, advertising, marketing, you name it, uh, slash performer, producer. So um, and being involved with media always came natural to me. Now that's the end of a possible quote right there. Being a part of media is always natural to me. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and split it, but we'll keep them together just to, bus, you know, um, if we do keep it as one, we can always combine them back together. Now let's see what the second quote would be. Um, and I performed like for let's cut out the um real quick. And I performed like I performed performed like and I performed. All right. When he uses the words "and I like," right, and that, he uses them very quickly. So we're gonna have to try and find exactly where that cross between the middle of the sentence and the potential beginning of a new sentence could be. And I performed like... And I performed...